Russia's Minister of Defense, Sergei Shoigu, distributing medals for bravery. Pictures released for domestic consumption to rally the people behind what Russia refuses to call anything other than a special military operation. These soldiers made it back from the front. Others have not. But it's a criminal offense in Russia to report anything other than the official number, which was 498 on March the 2nd and has not been updated since. According to Mr. Shoigu, the operation is going to plan. In a meeting of the Security Council, he told Russia's president that there were 16,000 requests from so-called volunteers in the Middle East who wanted to help liberate, in his words, the people of Donbass. A claim quickly backed up by this video from Russia's Ministry of Defense of fighters chanting their support for the Syrian president and for Russia. Vladimir Putin went on to meet his Belarusian counterpart, Alexander Lukashenko, a frequent visitor to the Kremlin these days, who declared that Russia had acted not a moment too soon. As both leaders reassured the other that they'd weather the sanctions storm, the U.S. imposed additional measures, removing Russia's most favored nation trading status, banning further imports and the export of luxury goods to Russia. Luxury here has already shut down. The symbols of what it meant to get rich in the 90s and the early years of Putin's reign all pulling out. Instagram was banned today. The symbols of connectivity in modern Russia shutting down one by one. In Soviet times, people tended to talk about the system only in the safety of their own kitchens. It was too dangerous to disagree publicly. And it feels a bit as though Russia is returning to that state with the Kremlin today with this message to anyone who might disagree with what they are doing. A true Russian is never ashamed of being Russian. If anyone says so, this person is not Russian. This person is not with us. Many thousands of Russians have left the country over the last two weeks. Sanctions will rip away the futures that the rest expected they'd have, even if many may not really know it yet. Dana Magne, Sky News, Moscow.